Hey guys, the event has landed. We finally have a new event, the Crawling Dark. And with it came the summon event where you can get the new heroes, Falkia and Cratch. I did actually manage to get Falkia. I got Falkia this morning, or Falkia, or whatever you want to call her. And here she is. This is my Falkia. So I'm not really sure of her yet. I threw her some pretty spare gear. It's not ideal. I've got crit on the main because it's you know it's a subset kind of lying around. I focused on getting some good attack speed, over 200% attack and picking up crit damage afterwards. So pretty kind of standard goals here. Ancient Wrath does grant you 30% crit damage in the stats here. The rest of it doesn't come into it until afterwards. Anyway, that's how I've geared her. I've given her a bunch of skill ups and obviously they all rolled into basic attack because screw me. But I probably will max her skills because she is a limited hero. And honestly, this feels really dumb, but I'm tempted to give her my legendary Sage Soulstone so that I can unlock this thing that grants her a shield just because then she won't need a shielder, right? And then she can activate her own Demon Slayer's Might for the bonus damage. I'm probably not going to do it. It's just because she's limited, you know, it feels more like an excuse. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. The purpose of this video is going to be playing the new event, The Crawling Dark. People have asked already for some information or guides on how to beat content. I have no idea yet. I'm just going to play it and we'll see how it goes. So this seems pretty similar to the Halloween event we've had in the past, judging by the shop achievements and stuff so i've done a bunch of summonings already so i've got a bunch of these sigils of yore so i have 300 that's cool and let's have a look around there's the featured hero yeah the limited hero and there is the redeem shop anything good in here you can buy Vorof. Vorof is a good hero actually he's better than the hero offered in the halloween event there's also Celine shadow strike oh so they've made it so you can get this without buying it that's cool. It's class limited to only be useful for fighters. For every 10 instances of magic attack inflicted, Selene's Shadow Strike is summoned upon up to 3 enemies, dealing 80% damage once every 8 seconds. I'm going to buy this, obviously, because I don't have it. Definitely buy this if you can, because it's limited. You can't pull these in the normal fusion. They probably will change it at some point. But as of right now, the only way to get it is this. So definitely get this if you can. And I suspect it's probably quite good on Falcia since she does do multi-attack. Remember, every auto-attack deals magic and common damage, I believe. So every single attack, she will be adding this up. And her attack interval can get quite fast. Mine is already very fast and should be proccing this very regularly. So that seems good. Myth extracts are always nice, so they're a lot easier to get now. Uh, used to gain bonus. Okay, so these are extra attacks so that you can participate more in the event. And the rest of it's kind of cool, but I would definitely prioritize these top two because they're a lot harder to get. You can farm the rest of this stuff. Anyway, with that done, let us play the story mode and see what is up. So gaze into the mist and feel the intangible fear that creeps up on you. S1. In this nameless village shrouded in a mysterious power, madness has taken hold and wreaked havoc. And you get 100 sigils of yore. We are up against a Madden Salem Farmer, a Tower Shield Skeleton, a Baron Salem, and Madden Salem Stableman. Can we have a look at the rest? We can actually look at all the stages. So, okay, it's this kind of stage. It's, it's kind of like a and d style, like, you know, progressing through the village, everyone's infected, all the way down into eventually you're in the crypts of the dungeon. That's kind of cool. And it's Ludwig the Hierophant again. Cool. So, yeah, loads of tentacles going on in here. They tend to hit quite hard from my memory. I think you get these guys a lot in the final chapter, or in the previous final chapter, chapter 7. The attack is quite high on Butchers, on especially the Baron Salem's. So, yeah. Quick cursory glance at resistances. Everything seems kind of normal. There's a few of these Knights of Destructions and Tower Shield Skeletons who have high defense. But aside from that, it seems fairly standard stuff. I don't think I've seen any flying characters, so you don't need to bring any marksmen in particular. Fallen Reapers are fast and hit very hard. So the last one looks like it'll be quite similar to the basic trial, I'm guessing. So you probably need some good defenders, probably some good healers, and then just a bunch of damage. Oh, okay. Right, cool. So we are using Raiden and Falcia. The Enigmatic Town. Okay, and this is Olivian down here. And we have Camille and we have Tazira. Alright, let's just speed it up and see what happens. When they are attacked, they will madly lunge at the attacker. Let's just activate this because she is not going to be able to block if too many appear. So obviously I need to place you down here. You're not. Yeah, of course you're not healing. All right, well, let's just see how you do. We can't see them, so we don't know how strong these characters are, what their gear is. They've probably just given her a full set of good gear and everyone else rubbish gear. This isn't your gear. This is the default prefabbed stats. However, they decided to make this work. So I do wonder, what are we going to be doing about her health? Because she is going to be somewhat limited. And we'll just do this for now. 
and we'll ult because this could get damaging. Okay, can she swap target? Oh, it didn't seem to swap target. That's upsetting. I think it didn't swap target. I think once the first one died, it ended because it does say one target on her ultimate, which is unfortunate. Yeah, to one enemy. Cool. So stage one is obviously easy because it's a trial stage, a demo stage, just to make you spend money to pull for Falcia. Okay, so next stage, let's go. And again, we are using the default heroes. Okay, so you fools. Let's have a look. We've got this big Knight of Destruction, the Tower Shield guys, the Barons, and the ones that run faster when you hit them. So we only have two heroes who can potentially block. Maybe this was a mistake doing it this way around. I don't really know at this point, to be honest. But I need to have... Yeah, we'll try this. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, she is plenty strong. So I will probably put Light Lock at the top. Because then his healing will help deal damage. Because AoE Light Lock's damage can be quite good. I have toyed with the idea of building a DPS Light Lock just to see. It might be like some crazy powerful potential. It's doubtful, obviously. But, you know, stranger things have happened. We'll go this way. And then let's test this again. Yeah. Bugger. Okay, so her ult just is one target. If that target dies earlier in her ult than tough luck, that's all you get. Alright, I'll do it this way. This might not be the best way because to zero is physical damage or piercing damage and these are armored enemies. But I figure I'll save the magic damage for top because Falkia does do split damage. She does actually do some magic damage, so she shouldn't need it as bad. Okay. So we have six enemies left. Two of them are here, the Baron Salem's. This is pretty standard stuff so far. And we have the remaining four spawned up there. Alright, well, there's nothing else to do because the top side are all auto. But that seems to work fine. Can we, can we press on then? Cool, there we go. Alright, so maybe we get to play with our own characters now. Let's see. Stage three. Nope, okay. We're still using this team. Bear in mind... I have a much stronger Pantheon than you guys, so that's definitely going in my favor. Mine is, like, quite high in upgrades now, so I'm getting a lot more stats from that. If you're brand new to the game, then my account is not equal to your account. Even though we're using the same prefabbed heroes, I'll have a bunch of bonus stats, which will help, not insanely, but it will be a difference. There will be a difference in that. Okay, so the main thing here is they have these fallen archers. The archers always have quite high defense, which is annoying. So you don't... Ah, uh, okay, hold on. How many people can I place here? I'm just going to do it this way. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Maybe not. Ah, I should have placed someone else. I just don't like leaving stuff. Okay, so how far I can place you up here? Well, let's do it. It makes our life, our game a bit faster, right? She started with a shield. Oh, hold up. So she's awakened, guys. She's awakened. They're really... Trying to sell this to her. She's awakened. Her first awakening means that when she triggers her talent, the one that went making X amount of attack, she gains a shield equal to 2,000% of her attack speed, right? Kind of a specific worded one there. And when you place her, she also gains that bonus. I think, was that from the third awakening? Or was that just part of it? I can't remember. But anyway, she has a passive that triggers it. I think it's a tri passive, yeah. So she's at least awakening one. She might even be awakening five. I'm not sure. But I find that kind of funny. All right, so where should I place this one? Ah, oh, not the Okay, well, that happened. This is fine, whatever. And, oh, it's a Tario? I didn't realize, I thought it was to, it's a zero. That's cool, because then I can shoot across the map, so that's actually helpful. I don't need to place anything yet, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna see what happens. Huzzah! <laughs> I placed it facing the enemies. Okay, this isn't good. This one keeps getting shot, so I'm gonna... Oh, oh dear. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm placing stuff down. It will work out. There we go. He's full health. There's only two enemies left after these guys. Oh, they're the choppers. The choppers do hit quite hard. Oh, the two are up here, are they? I didn't even place a healer over here in the end, did I? Livian's just such a beast, honestly. She's so good. She was my first proper defender. I didn't pull a single epic or legendary defender for ages when I played the game as a beginner, and I had to fuse Olivian, and she did so much work for me. 
she was so instrumental in my progression early game. Cool, so that was pretty simple as well, even with a couple of cock-ups. Now, let's see, stage four. I think there's challenge stages and there are like story stages. I think this is fantastic. Actually, honest, I haven't given my thoughts too much, so I have too busy focusing on you know what's happening. I think this is cool. I like that they made the story changes so you have to use their teams because it forces you to use strategies. I was actually kind of concerned going into this. I thought, well, I'm going to be way over leveled, so a lot of this is not going to be very interesting. But at least now, you know, we're doing the same thing on parity. The difference is likely I have my Pantheon bonuses. But aside from that, it should be pretty much the same and maybe some bonuses from the catalog placement. Anyway. I have to defend these guys here, so let's do that, shall we? Let uh oh, okay, that's annoying. I think the chaff is gonna be spawning through here, so I'm gonna put you down. I think the big ones will come through here. Hmm. I'm gonna restart that just because it's a bit more interesting if I can have Falkia on the right side. Alright. So that's that dealt with. Um, now we have our healer down here. We need to really keep these guys up. I can see that's going to be a pain. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Shoot her. No, stop it. Leave, leave, leave him alone. Okay. Um, let's just do this for now. These aren't very ideal placements, but if it works, then I don't care, right? Hmm... Whatever, it doesn't matter too much. So long as people aren't dying, I don't care. This is really not great placements, but if if it works, I don't care. Come on, light lock. Okay, so we're down to f four enemies left after this. I haven't been using the ultimates either. So two more enemies are the... Okay, they're the big ones. So this is where I need to be mindful. Okay, that's a heal over 10 seconds. So I'm going to have to rely on that quite heavily. This is where it probably is going to go poorly. Just kill him. Ah, I messed up. Okay, I'm going to restart. I screwed that up. Unfortunate. Let's try this. There's a lot more spawning here, so I want her kill potential. I think it would be annoying about it. And that guy shoots here, so I want to kill him quick. But I do really need to focus on the healing here. It's actually a big problem. Ah, decisions. Ooh, kind of a bit spicy there. How does this heal? So can I... Maybe I should be placing her a bit further forward. I'm not too certain, to be honest. But that's good. That kind of cordons that area off. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this will work, maybe this won't work. We'll have to find out. I think so long as I can get Raiden on the right to assist, this should be plenty fine. I'm mainly concerned about these two in the middle dying. So we'll see how that goes. Does he shoot? So they both do shoot initially in quite an annoying way. Tario is strong enough to kill the one here, and Raiden and Tazira combined can kill the one on the right. So I think this might be fine. Does this heal less? I never really used this character. This might not have been the way to do it. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> that worked out, but it was not very clean. By any means. Cool. So the only one left. Not the cleanest run, because someone actually died. Hopefully that's not one of the star requirements, but I think this is a success. So we'll take it, and we'll see. Does this count as a free star, or do you need no one to die? Nice with the core intact so yeah that's fine part of story has been unlocked complete and I don't, why do I want to go back I know there's a challenge mode but I hadn't finished the last stage yet I don't want to do this yet I want to I want to go back and do the story mission so let's do number five okay let's go all right so this could be pretty tricky the last one took me a couple of attempts so I imagine this could be a bit annoying especially since I can't just mm, smash through it with loads of gear and characters they have elite skeleton archers. These guys are going to be really annoying, I imagine. We have a bunch of tanky guys with high defense. Lots of high defense here. So the mages would be super important. And we have the tentacle. Oh, this is the Ludwig one, the Hierophant. Oh, that guy's so annoying. Wait, I don't see him here. Is there another stage I missed? We'll find out. So we've got Vorov as a fighter. And we have you. So. 
And where are these tentacles going? They're all going in the middle. But these guys are quite tanky. Okay, we'll just do that for a single healer in the middle. I like that. He's not really going to be able to heal everyone by himself. So slightly ambitious. Okay, I just want to see how the healing comes on the damage. As you can see, it's kind of a bit too demanding, really, isn't it? So, let's try this. And I need to think about the placement properly. We want to kill the tendrils. That's super important. Best person for that is 1000% going to be Tario. But if I place her here, she won't need to be healed. So I think this is smart. Oh, look at that. They're squishy as well. Amazing. He doesn't reach. Tario, I think, is great to get down early because her ultimate will let her snipe across the map. So I would definitely go over Tario quickly. But then we, of course, need to actually win the objective. So let's try this. And then probably should have put Light Lock over there. I probably shouldn't have placed her yet either. Because I'm going to need the Voroff. Oh, you know, that's probably okay. Oh, I didn't see these guys. So... You know what? Let's try and keep Tariel alive. I think Tariel's going to be really valuable. And we'll have a... Ooh, I've got two spaces left. But only <laughs> one space under a healer I can place. So, we're doing okay. We've got 23 more to go. I don't think the placements are fantastic, to be frank. But I think they can probably work. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Brienne is not really great, but I'm going to get an ultimate out of her, and then I'll despawn her, probably. And let's just place you down, so we have you down. So yeah, let's see how this goes. It's quite a good cross lane there. Raiden's got a nice uh, layup. Sure, to zero, just get to work. Okay, so far, so good. We have another 14 to go. Tariel is loaded. Alright, here we go. We've got the archers coming. Please kill. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, you succeeded. I'm a bit concerned about them shooting at the top, so I'm going to ult. Ooh. Yo, chill. Chill. Please, 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 chill out. Man, those archers are really annoying. So, how many's left? Four left, four enemies. That seems good to me. Just Voroff who might be in a bit of a pickle. Um, but he'll get assistance soon from Falkia because she's facing up. So they're protecting the lane together. Cool. So that seems to be fine. That wasn't too hard. That was easier than the previous mission, I think. But, yeah, where is where is Ludwig? Alright, victory. Nice one. Okay, yeah, I'm just blind. There's another one. Six. So this is the final one. Oh, right, yeah, it's the one that looks like a dungeon. Sweet. And again, we have a team. And we actually have a soldier. So it's a different roster this time. And we actually get two defenders. So we have a single healer, a fighter, two defenders, two mages, two marksmen. Interesting. Okay. No leader, no lord. Which is kind of annoying. Because we have a soldier who is a lord of the north. And we have a north hero you being used as a special assist. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay, cool. So we have two defenders. We have a fighter. We have a single healer that focuses on kind of buffing. But is a decent healer. But that's really annoying with these guys. I'm going to have to... I'm probably just going to retry this a few times at the start so I can get a feel for the stage. Let's see if there's anything to watch for. We've got the Reapers. Obviously Ludwig. Let's just check if he has the same skills. I was assuming he would, but he might not. Doomsday Ritual deals massive damage to enemies around him. Shield of Immortality increases his defense. Surely I'm guessing it gives him immortality as well. I don't know. Seal of Desecration which gives him magic resistance. Portal of Calamity. Countless enemies come out of it. An Apocalyptic Prayer. He prays to the Ancient God, casting Apocalyptic Prayer. With his countless tentacles, all heroes will be slaughtered. Well, that doesn't sound very good. But anyway, we want to get rid of these. We don't have a Tariel this time, which is unfortunate. So my temptation is to just do stuff that doesn't require healers. I did that on the wrong side, apparently. And let's see, do we get enough time for this? Because if this buys me time to get heroes down without having to heal them immediately, then that's really quite useful, isn't it? Then I only have one healer, don't I? So I can't split too bad. Okay, I need to tank. Wow. Um, a soldier's got to be the, the choice here. 
and a Wanaga healing her. So what is this? Let me just check. This is uh, something they had in the other, the new stage in, in chapter 8. So what is this ability? Is this Doomsday Ritual? It can't be the prayer. If it's the prayer, then I'm, I'm doomed. There's no chance. Let's just ult to kill these up a bit sooner, maybe. Is he... He gets charges whenever the enemies make it to him. Understood. So I shouldn't have let that happen. That's the first thing. You have a shield, but that's defense and magic resist. I think the whole point with this is you have Falkia, and she, of course, does true damage sometimes, which is going to be wonderful. Monaga can heal that far. Let's not place anyone down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think um, if more enemies get to the boss, the boss is just going to kill me. So you definitely don't want to be placing any of your marksmen within adjacent tiles because the boss will just eat them. So here is probably a better shout. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail this one. But that's okay. This is the learning attempt run, right? It's 96. This has got to be how the boss... 97. It's got to be the way the boss does the armor that kills everyone, right? 99. 100. Alright, now everyone dies? No, he just summons tentacles back. Yo, the tentacles hit really hard. Okay, I'm not too sure what that was about. But I know you shouldn't let the boss do what, what just happened there. So, I'm going to do basically the same thing again. Yeah, they're showing you at the start, don't let it happen. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to try this and see how this goes. And let's do with Brienne, because Brienne is so good. I should have placed her one closer. I'm gonna restart. Cool. So yeah, again, let's do that, but but successfully. So you're gonna go there because you do AOE damage anyway. Brienne is gonna go here, so I've got a bit more overlap. Cool. So that's safe, and that's done. So you're down here. You're going down here. Just in case there's some relevance to how close the enemies are, I'm gonna do this. Please hurry up. You need to kill them. Okay, Brienne is not killing that super fast, is she? Okay, can't reach. I thought maybe there'd be a thing where you can, like, lap the attack because of, you know, bosses have a bigger hitbox, but I was not, unfortunately, not right there. Cool, so we stopped them from getting through on the right side, so that should be good. We have our Imani on the boss. Unfortunately, a soldier probably would have been better on the other side, but I, I do like the magic damage Livian can do. So I'm okay with this for now. We'll see how this goes. So now we have to kill these guys fairly quickly. So this is probably going to be a trickier point. One might get through. Yeah, one got through. But the boss is at 63 and mostly dead. So so long as nothing changes, I think this is good. This can be a tricky point as well. Oh no, we <laughs> just blitzed the boss's adds down straight away. And I've been forgetting to use Winaga's ult to get the attack speed boost as well, so that wasn't very good. Alright. Now what happens? It's finally over. Okay, simple. Not too bad, not too bad. So, yeah, that's the the story completed. Quite fun, I like it. I like that they gave us preset characters to use. I think that was smart. You can see <laughs> one of them is not like the others. I like that. I think it's a good decision to give us preset characters. I think that's the best way to make it engaging and fun for everyone because otherwise older players are just going to smash it. This forces us to actually think a bit and play the game properly and it gives everyone the kind of same footing. Make sure that no one's just, you know, having no fun or can't do it because they're too early or any of those things. And we can do two disappointment summons as well. Thanks for it as well. So that's grand. But yeah, I think it's quite a cool idea. And we get the challenge stages, so I think that's probably going to be the thing where you do get to bring your own team. I'll have a look at them, but I'll probably do that in a separate video. This one will be just on the story for now. So yeah, hope that helps any of you who might be stuck. Let me know what you think of this as well. So far, I think it's cool. I like the idea. I think they should definitely do it this way. Just to quickly double check, challenge mode is your own heroes. I think it should be. Cool. So yeah, I think that was cool. I thought it was good fun. I like the split between the story and the challenge. The story forcing you to use their actual heroes they've decided upon. It gives you a chance to try new heroes as well and to, you know, try to make things work outside of your normal team where you just Salazar everything. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Enjoyed it. I hope you guys have fun with this event as well. Good luck with your summers this weekend. I'll see you in the next one where we go over the challenge mode. 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a lovely one. Take care and bye-bye.